be careful with those. They're filled with fine china. Yes, ma'am. Your Aunt Cordelia's. Here. I wonder why Mr. Godfrey has all the lights off this time of night. I wouldn't know, ma'am. I believe you said it was 1950. Keep the change. Thank you, lady. At least it'll be quiet driving back to Charlottesville. Mr. Godspeed. Ain't nobody here but those chickens, Corbett. Yeah. This is a pleasant surprise. I got a feeling it ain't either. Pleasant or a surprise. been a long time, Ormalee. I wonder which one of us would say that first. I guess Aunt Cordelia warned you I might be here. Well, I surmised as much when she wrote that her deathbed request was to see us reconciled while she was still alive. I guess once you made that promise, she perked right up, like a sparrow in a spring thaw. Well, she always could turn ill health to her advantage. Well, I I guess a promise extracted under false pretenses is no good as a promise at all. I suppose. Well, I, I just couldn't resist coming here. Although it's been a revelation, as you can well imagine. Well, it isn't exactly like I wrote my letter. Neither is that fellow you married. I cherish him, Ormelie. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that, Corbeth. Because as the song says, and as I full well know, a good man's hard to find. Not for you. Men have always been attracted to you. You were Papa's favorite. You were Mama's. Remember that time? We went on that picnic at Culpeper Creek. <laughs> and you fell in and Papa had to fish you out. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I jumped in. I so wanted him to notice me. Cora Beth Walton Godsey. As bad as I was, I could never think of a stunt like that. Papa's blue pants just faded right down over his white spats. I never seen anything so comical in my life. And Mama was furious because he wore them to the picnic. Papa always was a dandy. I have missed you, Ormelie. You're the only one that could make me laugh. Well, for all your fussing and chiding, I've missed you, too. I guess you noticed. Aunt Cordelia told me. She gave me her fine china. Aunt Cordelia gave me her pearls. But because I love you, and you deserve them as much as I do, but not more. Here you go, sister mine. to give you half of Aunt Cordelia's fine china. I do love you, Ormalee. Well, of course you do, precious. 